At about 6 p.m. on March 13, 1961, the 441-foot freighter, a dominator, shipwreck right here and there and there. The crew of the dominator miscalculated their position by about 10 miles. In the fog, they couldn't see the cliffs of Palos Verdes. They didn't have radar that would show them where the land is and because it was expensive and it was an old World War II cargo ship, a Liberty ship originally, and they hadn't fitted it with modern equipment like even depth sounder. They were looking for a harbor entrance that was 10 miles farther south. They were running right into Rocky Point at the beginning of the Palos Verdes Peninsula. As they hit the rocks, the tide was falling. So within an hour, the water around them had fallen two feet. But for two days, with all the help from the Coast Guard and tugboats trying to pull them off, they couldn't get unstuck from the rocks. And then the wind and the waves got so strong, um, 40 mile per hour winds, huge waves that smashed up over the deck of the ship, they were done. They got off, they abandoned ship, and that left the ship to be auctioned off to salvagers. The salvage companies came and they worked and they tried to figure out how to use a crane to get the weed off and how to start to take the ship apart. But the weather was very rough and their own crane fell in the water and ended up on the beach. Gradually breaking up, rusting, washing, bit by bit, more onto the beach. There's a devilish sulfur smell in the air here. The Dominator was a 441 foot cargo ship sailing south from Portland, Oregon with 10,000 tons of Canadian wheat and uh, it didn't make it to the Panama Canal. They crashed into Rocky Point on Palos Verdes Peninsula here near Los Angeles. If the crew of the Dominator had steered clear of Rocky Point, they almost certainly still would have hit Point Vicente. Let's imagine we are the crew of the Dominator carrying 10,000 tons of wheat south toward the Panama Canal. But it's foggy. We are not as close to Long Beach as we thought, the fog is not your friend. There is the drain pipe trail, which goes a couple hundred feet down the cliff in a tenth of a mile, steeply. And then as you proceed south along the rocky beach, you'll start to encounter steel uh, among the rocks, and those are fragments of the 60-year-old shipwreck of the Dominator. To the right is the entrance to a little cove called Lunata Bay. You will walk among larger and larger pieces of thick steel, sometimes two inches thick. The lobsters ate the wheat that was abandoned on the Dominator, and their tails became quite sweet and delicious. These lines of rock look like gigantic prehistoric jaws. This one is too heavy to take home. This piece looks hollow. Maybe I can manage it. Here's another little engine. It is amazing. Good 
modern electronics have saved the Dominator from catastrophe? Probably. After the Dominator shipwreck, the Coast Guard installed this buoy, R10, flashes red at night and uh, the waves make it ring a bell. Our only souvenirs from this trip will be this garbage, hopefully, if we don't sprain our ankle. The drain pipe trail is very rough concrete and very steep. We took two and a half hours, um, but we dominated the Dominator. It was very climb. interesting to see. I yeah. didn't have sturdy enough shoes or hiking poles, so I recommend very sturdy shoes and hiking poles. Ship used to be out here where we are. Yeah, it took years for it to really break up and end up on the beach. Just like I guess it'll take years for that palm tree to fall over up there. <laughs> really, really yeah, cool. and all those houses too. going down. The houses yeah. too. Crumble, crumble. Skipper Dorothy is leaving um, the Dominator house. shipwreck behind. So you saw it when it Look was bigger, when yeah, it, before when the whole it. Ship was above. Yeah, before it broke into pieces. Right, that's the ghosts. They're cutting their way out of the Oh, uh, more Scooby-Doo. Dun, 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 dun. They were completely stoned the whole time. All you have to I do is no actually idea. read the research. Yes. Ah! Yes, Shaggy was always had the munchies. He was like, had the, you know. Something went wrong. Please try again. Yeah. That was my fault. Yeah, Siri is smoking something. <laughs> A thin fog is beginning to envelop Rocky Point tonight. Rocky Point quietly awaits.